How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Yamsy Boy, and we're here for day 20 of Trails of Cold Steel 3. This game is significantly longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've gone to 20 in a Trails game, but... A lot of that is chalked up to the fact that this is indeed longer than any of the Trails games I've played so far. And my streams have been a little bit on the shorter side compared to other ones. Now... But that's neither here nor there. Last time we got through the final free day of the game and now we're about to start the first day of field exercises in Chapter 4 where we're going to Heimdall and the surrounding area. And we're carrying T uh, Toa with us for reasons. I already picked up her quest, so let's head out. <laughs> hey, Psycho, how's it going, dude? That is a very wide panda. Tina's with you now, now. It's going alright. No, no complaints, really. My only complaint is that Altina is not riding behind Reen, so I'm not going to get the go-go. And I'm sad. I guess that means I have to get rid of Toa ASAP. Words I never thought I would say, by the way. So what are Reen and Toa thinking about? I'm guessing probably Crow's death? They're thinking about the Infernal Castle. Something like that. Alright. Should be chests around here. Looks like a real tough one. It's my turn! Eh. I didn't want to fight you. Eh. Sure. My turn. I mean, I did, but not yet. This oh, hello. Strong. Be careful. <laughs> he he <laughs> aggroed again. Nope. It's my turn. Roar! Oh, we're not a... <laughs> we're you not like Link. Probably Link. I'm going. Arcus, activate. Here I go. It's my turn. Roar. <laughs> Helix strike. My turn. Charging. There. Oh, right. Pandora. I was wondering why the hell her cavalry edge was so much bigger than Yuzis. And it's because of the secondary effects of the Pandora Quartz. Don't give up! Thank you. Which quite simply just yes. increases Art's AoE. So, yes. I do believe I want some of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my turn! Arcus, activate! 
Let's go. Roar! Oh my God, his his helix with his current setup is now self-sustaining. Here I go. He makes that sixty back up by the time he gets his next turn. Well, I guess depending on the actions of others, but still, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, our chance. I'll assist. Guests? I'm up. Roar. <laughs> Helix strike. Now. Music, cover me. Yes. Ah! Oh my god, she she didn't make an innuendo out of All that. Right. Holy crap. Maybe she's growing up. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. You can't escape. Oh, I just noticed she had zero arts. Rip. My turn. Activate Fragorok. Destroy. Yes. Pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, everyone. So we. Alright, got it! If I were going for 100% pure evasion, I would pair that with Yeah, I did it! Uh, with Yuna's quartz, but That's updated. I must train even more. The arts and one of those abilities actually just kind of it's, it's <laughs> I grew a little redundant. Ooh, Moulin Rouge. Big area, 50% burn. Pretty powerful, nice. Also, very depressing movie. Oh, the bike. Screw the bike. Yeah. Take them down. Second form, Gale. All right. Yeah! Wide open! It's mine! <laughs> Not too shabby. You. Oh, yeah. Now that I maxed out Tempest, I should probably switch Kurt over to something else. But what? That's not. Bad. That one's not great. Not the worst, but I mean, once I got Pandora, uh, yeah, bye, Diva. Not even looking back. Sure, why not? Still living, leveling Kaleido. I wonder if I should put something that's actually useful on him to get some more experience. I've been using Kaleido the whole game just for getting, you know, that little bit extra Sepith which may still be worth keeping it around for, because Sabbath has been pretty limited in this game compared to other ones. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I'll just keep Kaleido around, why not? Oh, you use Kaleido as a sub the whole game? Fishing spot located. Great minds think alike or something. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. 
Oh, I've gotten that one before. I got one. I only have one more bait. Holy shit. I should go buy Casting. some bait. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. Yeah, it's another golden salmon. I got one. I think Freddy's the one that sold it. Maybe. What can I get you today? Yeah. Ah, give it a try. I will. Yeah. This will be a good fishing yeah. spot. Take them down. Yeah, after this. Second form, now! I'll assist. It's my turn! Yeah! My turn. I shall go. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Got no time to waste. Casting. Fight received. That's a different one. Heavy tension on the line. I think it's new, too. I don't recognize it anyway. It's a big one. Deep grouper. Ooh, a Tamamo gem for free. Hell yeah. Casting. I should look to see if anybody Light wants received. that. Heavy tension on the line. I think it increases uh, strength and also gives like a 40% chance to charm enemies. Something like that. I got one. Thirty percent. Still, may as well. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. Have I already seen this one? It seems familiar. I yeah, it's Rainbow one. Trout. Well, I do enjoy Rainbow Trout. More seconds. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. It's a big one. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. The expected result. I have a feeling I could really stock up on these gems, which just kind of makes me wish I could break them down into Sepith or Bite you know, sell them off for money or something. It's strong. Also makes me glad I didn't go out of my way to make a, make a Tamamo gem. Holy crap. That would have been really sad. Uh, I wish I kinda wish this guide would list uh, available fish at fishing spots, but it doesn't. Casting. Bite received. It's strong.
I'm in the last chapter before the, the expected result. Well, before the final chapter. So there can't be that many more to catch. The one for CS4 does list it. Oh, that's nice. Good to hear. Casting. Because literally none of the ones I followed I all the way from back at the first Sky game Mission have failed. done that. I mean, Casting. they have they have like fish lists. Fight received. In like the indices and stuff, but heavy tension on the line. It's not exactly the same. Plus, I have to go out of my way and uh, ugh, having to click a thing and then like Control F. Oh god, it's result. such an exertion. I feel like throwing up just just thinking about Casting. that. Fight received. It's strong. I wonder why I didn't last that long editing videos. Hmm. It's a big one. Someone with my work ethic. Casting. Fight received. Heavy tension on the line. Gen Genshin did happen, to be fair, yes. It's a big one. Uh, what's what's on my ass? Oh god. This is the end. This one's strong. Be careful. Ten turns, eighty percent damage reduction, and HP heal. Well, it's a nice defensive one if I ever need one, which I probably won't. Go wild, crazy hunt! <sighs> Spirit unification. Let's go. Down. Oh Down. shit, that has two hits to it. I'll assist. Here I go! I think I may have underestimated how strong Reen's crafts become when he's in this mode. I usually just kinda of write off write off the spirit unification because it costs a hundred CP, and I'm not usually yeah. willing to give up that much for what a transformation. Happened? It's mine! But it might end up being a good idea, actually. <laughs> not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. Yes. Insight status when battles begin or HP is low. It doesn't specify a limit, so does that happen every time your HP gets low? Or just once? I imagine just once, but at the same time, it doesn't specify that when usually they do. I don't know. There. You're from Heimdall, aren't you, Instructor Tella? <laughs> yep. I go home to visit on occasion. I wish I could give you a tour of the city, but now's not the best time. It's okay. We're gonna get this done. Uh, you had Kurt as Tough your evasion tank? This is the end. This one might be worth my time. Well, I mean, you've been watching me. You knew I did that at the beginning. But there just came a point where I'm like, Kurt's range is so uh, tiny. Helix strike! It feels now. bad. Let's go, Altina! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And thus, Tanfa Gun Girl turn. got her time to shine. You can't escape. Fire! Our chance. It's mine. I got this. That's eh, too small. That requires him to be at the center of the AOE. Game, why you do this? You're mine! Yeah! 
Come on, you wild filly! I got it! <laughs> yeah! My turn. Arcus, activate. I'm up! Huh. It's down! Oh, you didn't too weak to you? Um, yeah, they can understand that. This is it! It's my turn! But I prefer dealing less damage with counters than dealing no damage. Yeah. Now! It was a trade-off I was willing to take. I'll assist. If I ever get to actually choose to put Fee in my party, I'm gonna remove her, <laughs> remove Thanks Yuna for from her, out. but... I worked the game hasn't wanting, wanting to be doing that for me. And I am sad. The game's like, no, you're gonna use the new students and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Fine. I will use less good for class 7. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Oh, nice. That's one less of those that I had to make. That saves me a shit ton of time, Sabbath. Eh. Why is everything why is everything about need with you, Reen? Maybe I just want to go that way, huh? How about that? Uh, I found some treasure! Uh, hey, go, yeah. go away. This one might be worth my time. <sighs> Spirit Unification! I'm up! Roar! Oh, does that? I missed the little guy. Strike! Rip. It's down. Let's go, Altina. Yes. Wait, I thought he was supposed to follow up. All right. Or was am I thinking of Arcane Gale? That had a follow up attack. You can't escape. Fire! Wide open. It's mine. Sure. You rest in peace. <laughs> Done already. I think this fish actually Aston. has the same stuff that uh, bite received the other hole does. Heavy tension so, on the line. Probably shouldn't spend too much bait here. I got one. Well, that dude respawned fast. Alright, I think that's all for now, so let's head on to Heimdall. Ah, yes, of course, the bikes. We were totally riding those. Freaking stealing ideas from Crossbell. They stole Crossbell itself and now they steal its ideas. How uncouth.
Okay, for some reason, the game- the guide says make a backup save. Okay... Why? I mean, I'll do it! The West Circuit Tram will soon be departing via Heimdall Station. So let's we just stand here and look at it. Wishing to board this tram, make haste. do you think the tram runs over cars that are driving recklessly? I would imagine that it would be a pretty frequent occurrence. All you have to do is swerve ever so slightly. Yeah. I wonder when that bombshell's gonna hit everybody. I still- I don't trust that 8 Metropolis plan. Especially since it's like some big ambitious project coming from Osborne, that just automatically makes me want to oppose it. On pre- on basic principle. None of his big plans end up doing good things for a lot of people. They usually just solidify his power and control. I'm thinking that might be a big Main Street. She keeps trying to find ways to, to say Crossbell is better and keeps getting the wind taken out of her sails. Sad. <laughs> Good morning. There you go, throw her a bone. Not like that. Hi, Claire. Uh, Instructor Claire! Sorry for the wait. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be the one coming to get us. I wanted to tell you I deeply appreciate everything you did back in Lemaire. After I left, you managed to not only find Milliam, but stop the railway cannons too. And? I still can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. Defeated the Steel Maidens, somehow. Like, for real though. I don't know how I can possibly begin to thank you. You don't need to thank us. 
It was nothing. It was simply part of our mission. We had help from many other people, both from within the branch campus and without. Okay, but l let's be fair. That Steel Maiden thing, that was 100% because of Aurelia, as far as the story is concerned. Everyone else was just kind of, sort of helping her. I guess taking on the other three, for the most part. That's right. So in a sense, we were able to do what we did thanks to everyone. Yourself included, Major. I don't deserve such kind words, but I shouldn't waste any more of your time. Allow me to welcome you to Heimdall Central Station. Since the Governor is currently visiting, I'll guide you to the RMP Command Center to meet with him. Yeah, just some terrorist attacks. Nothing to worry about. Hello there, Reen. Hello there, Been voice acting. It's Crossbell, hasn't it? The same to you, of course, Miss Herschel. It would appear Class 7 has had some new additions since then. Yeah, a couple, couple of nosy fellows. Likewise, I'd like to welcome each of you to Heimdall. I'm sure it must be a bit disorienting to have your field exercises in a place as large as the capital, but the basics should be the same. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns? Allow me to give you the information on our special request. Thank you for waiting, sir. Oh, God. Why? Haha, <laughs> we got here earlier than you. Get fucked. It's a pleasure to see you again. It, it really doesn't sound like it's a pleasure to see us again. You sound like you're being sardonic. You have my thanks for taking care of Alfin and Olivert back in Crossbell. Good day, Schwarzer. You as well, Herschel. Starting last month, I resumed teaching at the main campus as a military instructor. I will be accompanying Class 1 on their civic security activities. I am here to report the commencement of the main campus field exercises. So are we going to get a chance to, you know, just rub Cedric's face in whatever we do? Because I'm down. Likewise, I'm reporting the start of the branch campus's field exercises. Reen seems a little Understood. irritated. I'll pray for good news. So now the main, now the main campus is copycatting the branch campus. How sad. Yeah. 
Yay! Working together with class one. I am excited. Top priority, eh? Oh, are those those teleporting dudes? Should I be expecting someone to be... Should I, should I be expecting them to be around on the same level as uh, Risha? Because that's a little scary. No, this is absolutely about which of us wins or loses. It's a matter of ideology, and I want to crush Cedric's into the ground. He's being too influenced by Osborne, and I want I want to see him eat shit. Well, well. Look at you all. Speak of the devil! Hi, Osborne. <laughs> Welcome, Your Excellency. Ah, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> I like how the branch campus isn't getting up mm. and saluting. So he Not even to grace us with his company after all, eh? Governor, your majesty, good day to you both. I can't believe it's already been a month since I last saw Class One. Yes, sir. I'm honored you remember us. But of course, I met you students of the main campus a few times by now. In addition, I would also like to greet the members of the branch campus. I am Gilead Osborne, the Chancellor of the Empire of Erebonia. Some refer to me as the Blood and Iron Chancellor, though I feel that grisly moniker has worn out its welcome by now. Well, oh, you've certainly done everything in your power to earn it. <sighs> it. It's nice to see you again, Your Excellency. Ah, Miss Herschel, likewise. Come to think of it, it was only two years ago we first met at the trade conference. Since then, all the government agencies have been tripping over themselves to recruit you, despite you declining each and every offer. Oh, <laughs> it's a shame! I myself would have liked to invite you to join the Ironbloods. Thank God she didn't. Huh? That... Your Excellency, you shouldn't tease her like that. <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. Are you, though? Are you really kidding? Allow me to congratulate you on being appointed as an instructor of the branch campus. <laughs> You're too kind. <sighs> so this is the Blood and Iron Chancellor. 
The man who annexed Crossbell. Ah, and Ms. Una Crawford, was it? A transfer from the Military Police Academy. I hear you've been working very hard on behalf of the province of Crossbell. Yes, the province. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, thank you. I've really been pushing myself to the limit lately. He com he 100% did that on purpose. <laughs> Good to hear. And you must be Mateus' son. I expected you to enroll at the main campus alongside the prince, but you appear to be excelling nonetheless. Thank you. I'll continue giving it my all. <laughs> Good to see you once more, Black Rabbit. Ah, and Ash Carbide. I've heard much about you from Lecter. Hello. <laughs> it's a real honor. And next? Mm, you say Egret, was it? I've always wanted to speak with your grandfather, the advisor to the former Duke Cayenne. <laughs> I'm sure Grandfather would be honored to hear that. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes, likewise. Uh? Oh? Mm hmm? Just as I've heard. Mm hmm? The new Class 7 has quite the array of gifted young students. What, what have they heard? I mean, I know about Musei, obviously, but... What did they glean from that conversation? Wouldn't you agree, Instructor? Yes, Dad. <laughs> yes, it certainly does. It's been some time, Instructor Reen Schwarzer. I haven't seen you since the ceremony at the end of last year. Yeah, but you certainly haven't been shy about giving him orders. Yes, it's good to see you again. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. It feels like the air in the room just got colder. <laughs> well, we'll have to leave the greetings at that. I have a message for you from the Emperor. Members of Thor's main campus and branch campus. Two days from now, your attendance is requested at the party being held at Valflame Palace. Okay, let's go ahead and run down the checklist of things this sentence sets up for us. Big Imperial Palace? Check. Big Party? Check. Everyone who's important to the story all in one place at the same time? Check. I'm sure nothing's gonna happen. What? The party? Us too? Yes, of course. We would like to commend the main campus and branch campus for their work in North Ambria and La Mer, respectively. We'll have to limit the number of people invited to the palace, but at the very least, I'm certain all of you here will be able to attend. Seriously? Incredible. Such a great honor. <laughs> you have to do the obligatory sip. <laughs> I need to go home and talk to them. I mean, as good as the as the trails stories are certain plot points can be kind of predictable because they always seem to go in the same general direction oh by the way instructor reen all of heimdall has been consumed with gossip over who your dance partner will be <sighs> <laughs> is that so well my advice would be to follow your heart and damn the consequences if you'll excuse me now your highness Governor. Thank you for delivering the message. Regarding that one topic, I'd like to discuss it with you at a later date, if possible. Understood. We can speak of it at length then. Now, everyone, I bid you good luck with your various tasks. You know, I just thought of, like, a horrible possibility <sighs> that I'm sh I don't think the games will actually go into, but let's say, for example, Rain's dance partner was Princess Alfin, and they end up getting together. Maybe he marries into the Imperial family. And then Osborne 
being Reen's biological dad, will be able to use that to leverage himself more power to basically become Emperor himself in all but name. He would do it. Don't say he wouldn't. Just like I thought. <laughs> oh, are you gonna get? Are you gonna get a divine knight too? Let's go. Nah, it's just a headache. His sword arm's twitching. That's a lot of dudes. You know, you might be able to get a little bit more accomplished if you... Swallowed your pride a little bit and asked Risha Mao and maybe Lloyd Bannings for help. I'm just just saying, Risha Mao would probably be really good at finding people like this, considering that's her line of work too. Of evil. What? You don't want. You don't want to do. What are you, some kind of wuss? You want to do a competition where our literal mission is to capture Calvarian spies and yours is to save some kitten or something? But you don't want to see who catches more spies? <sighs> what a loser. Let's get out of here, guys. I say do it. Rub it in their faces. We'll save the kittens and capture the spies all at the same time. Nightheart seems to have his hands full a little bit. I think he gets. I think he's had quite enough of Cedric's cockiness himself.
slightly later. three things. None of which involve capturing spies, I notice. You know, I was kind of joking about the finding the lost kitten thing, but finding a lost child, it, it's pretty similar. Remember the museum quest? <sighs> the fact that you're pointing that out makes me... It makes me apprehensive. It better not be what it sounds like. go to that museum and there's a card waiting for us, I'm gonna be pissed. Don't you give me that. What, I can't freely roam the map? Okay, whatever. Let's just go from the top to the bottom. Well, we could do a bad job and uh, go after anyone who looks remotely Asian.
Something tells me that wouldn't be a good idea, but... Alright, let's check out the shops. What do we have here? You're not a shop. You're a kiosk. Information kiosk. Might be the the last uh, thing that we need out of out of that line of book accessories. I know you need a bunch of them to make a better accessory. Sarah gifts. Okay. New pickies. The proverb ones? Yeah. Those. I think they were one of those things that you could exchange for a stronger accessory and once you got all of them. I guess the contact lenses are for Machias or something? Or probably any glasses wearing character. Yuna gift. Tita hair. Expensive accessories that I can't in my life afford. Is there anyone I need to talk to in here for information gathering? It doesn't look like it. Imperial Chronicle. We could talk to Vivi for some intel. <laughs> She's on top of things. I don't think she's listening to you. You know, come to think of it, how do they know how many agents there are? The whole point of them is that they're hard to find and identify. So how do they even have, like, a, a number figure? That guy thinks he can keep Vivi from doing whatever she wants. That ain't how that works. No, down. Down is the correct button. Portal factory, boutique, and a weapon store.
Yeah, fingers. He just has the the newspaper that we already got. Got what I needed, and I think I lost my. Uh, yeah, I, I lost the notepad file because I didn't actually save it. I should keep an eye on the gifts list, make sure I don't miss anything. give me better stats, but I kind of want to hang on to what money I have, because I don't have a ton of it left. And there are still more gifts to get. Don't want to come up short. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else to do here. I'm gonna put my poke my head into the weapon shop, see if there's like a, a gift or something I can get there. Nope. And nothing new as far as weapons go either. Larvesta Street. Give it enough time and it will become a Volcarona Street. And then people will be quiver dancing in the streets. In. There's some information here and a recipe. on this street. Bakery. Private homes. Oh, and guild. Nice. The guild branch that has somehow managed to stay open. I think it actually might be only temporarily open. 
Wait, Oscar? Isn't that the guy that worked at Morgan's, Morgan's, or however you pronounce it, bakery back in Crosspell? But what about the girl he was working with? They had like a, they had like this hate but definitely want to bone each other relationship going on. I guess she's not gonna get her chance, at least not yet. Hello. You know that joke I made a little while ago? About how we find a lost kitty? I think maybe that wasn't a joke after all. I think that might have been bang on the money. Okay, it's a bird. Never mind. Wrong pet. Well, I hope it's still on the west side, because we can't go to the east side, that would be a problem. this star? Is it not in this room? Unbeatable quest! Hooray! Is it downstairs? Yes, yes it is. Okay. What do we got? Oh, we got the next installment of Comatonio. Let's fucking go. Part 3. A fitting end. It was the skinny crow from before who was always mean to Tomatonio. What's Mr. Goody Two-Shoes doing in a place like this? The crow snarked. And you've gotten awfully ugly since the last time I saw ya. But Tomatonio faced the crow, his face still filled with determination. Go ahead and laugh. But I still haven't given up on my dream, he said defiantly. 
The crow smiled devilishly. I knew you'd say that. You just don't know when to give up, do ya? Suddenly, the crow seized the vine on top of Tomatonio's head and flew high into the air, soaring across the orange sky to a destination unknown. Nah, it's cool, he's just going back to the undead asylum. The other crows and forest animals gazed in awe at the flying crow. Why aren't you eating that tomato? They would ask. And the crow had a response for each one of them. Instead of a fancy gourmand like myself, I know the perfect person for an ugly tomato like him. Tomatonio worried about where he was being taken, but nevertheless thanked the crow for rescuing him from the forest. The crow only scoffed coldly in response and continued flying. After some time, Tomatonio finally succumbed to his exhaustion and fell asleep, entrusting the crow with his life. The crow spent the entire night flying, and soon Tomatonio awoke to the cool morning fog. They finally arrived at a restaurant owned by a legendary chef. The crow deposited Tomatonio in the restaurant's kitchen counter and perched on the windowsill. This place is perfect for an extraordinary tomato like you, the crow said. Then he scoffed again. <laughs> I must be an idiot. I can't believe I actually respect your determination. Suddenly, the crow fell off the window shill, windowsill. A soft thud was heard shortly thereafter. Mr. Crow! Tomatonio cried out. The crow had stopped stealing from the field since meeting Tomatonio, though his new lifestyle left him physically weak. Tomatonio felt sad for the crow. Thank you, Mr. Crow. You were a good friend to me. As he reflected on his memories with the crow, the legendary chef and the other chefs entered the kitchen. What's this? On top of the kitchen counter was a hideous-looking tomato covered in leaves and dirt. We ought to throw this ugly thing out, one chef said. The other chefs agreed and made to grab Tomatonio, but the legendary chef stopped them. Now wait just a moment, the legendary chef said. This is no ordinary tomato. Look not at its appearance, but its substance. The legendary chef scooped up Tomatonio gently and washed him carefully. It may not look like a good tomato, but I am certain that this is, a, this is an extraordinary and delicious tomato. I can make a great dish out of this. The she other chefs murmured at these words, and the legendary chef immediately started prepping a meal with the determined tomato, who finally had his dream realized. And thus, Tomatonio was reborn into a great dish. The children who despised tomatoes would grow to love tomatoes after eating this great dish and be filled with happiness, and they would never forget how delicious this tomato tasted for the rest of their lives. It's so beautiful! <laughs> that was the greatest story ever told! I'm hungry. <laughs> Great children's story. It had everything. Adventure, talking tomato, death. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Herschel's General Store, you say? I'm gonna guess... Mm, look at the name on the sign. I'm gonna guess that's not a coincidence. Oh, yeah. Herschel. Hey, do you have Hershey's? No mention of Toa at all? Blondrine. More techies. Alright, let's have a look at the things I was looking to make. 
I think Fenrir Gem was one of them. Sevenfold Gem as well. Well, I guess I'll remake that notepad document. Because I'm too lazy to click save. Let's see, we've got Deus Gem, which is alright. Solar Gyre would be cool. Not super necessary, but cool. Uh, this is definitely one of the ones I wanted. So I need Lost Genesis SR. Which I already got Lost Genesis one Lost Genesis R, so I need six normal Lost Genesis. Assuming I don't have any at the moment. And for this I need uh, one of each of the SRs for the Chrono spells. I already have the Chrono Break, thankfully. Umbral Gyre would be cool to have, but it isn't super high priority. I definitely want this one. So, Ixian Volt SR. I can't make a domination. I think I already made one. I think I have one on Ash and Reen. <laughs> that one's not bad. Oh, did I have a Lone, bla lone Blade clip on somebody? I'll have to look at that. I'm gonna want this one. So, Zero Cannon. I don't think I, I don't think I can make Invigorate. So I'm I'm not sure if I can actually make a Mars gem unless I find an invigorate somewhere. Which makes me sad. Oh, I can make it invigorate with this. Oh, okay. Well... well let's go do that. I said Impassion R, I think. Should be pretty easy to make.
Nice. Uh, you're right, I do have Loom Blade on him. forgot about that because I didn't have a fate 3 the last time I looked at these and I just picked one up in the field. Cool. sleep oh he has Suzaku all right I guess I guess Biako's fine Gonna put something else on him just so that chrono burst is free freed up probably not necessary i'm gonna lose out on the spell in battle but actually you know what that's that's stupid it lets me know when i have something equipped there's no need to gimp myself in battle for no reason never mind false alarm Brush, I believe. What else we got here? It doesn't look like there's anything at the private home or the bracer guild. Hello? Do you have anything I can steal? I can promise you I won't be giving it back. Oh, I can't even see her. I can only see her, her see her from the side. I forgot to check if there's any equipment I could trade for. Good point. Oh, is this still closed down? Well, I want to believe that good things are going to come from it, but that also 
it, that's contingent on me believing that Osborne isn't gonna be a snaky a snaky git. That's kind of a big ask. I'm still missing two peckies. They're probably uh, in shops around here. Hopefully. Strength, defense, ATS, H and arch defense, and speed. Ooh. That's pretty good. The only thing is, it's not as good as more specialized things would be, that one the ones that give plus 100. It just gives a good amount of everything. But usually you want to focus builds more than be an all-rounder. Now this, on the other hand, would be great for, like, Reen. I don't have heavy armor. Not with me, anyway. Also, I am really low on U materials. <laughs> HP plus 9999, because why not? Okie doke, that's all I can do in this area. Be Claire's family. As soon as the company was in my control, I gave the rights to a longtime employee. Is he so hesitant to go back to the school? Yeah, okay, I'll do that, but... there. Aside from one very gung-ho mother. Oh yeah, I remember her.
That actually shocks me. I was expecting the gift from the music shop to uh, be for the musician. But nah. It's for Muse for reasons. That's suspicious. Musician. <coughs> well done. Good job. I only slightly want to kill myself. me or do those voices sound familiar? Hell. There, your guard's down. We've never I've never met Mateus either. That's a new name. Your fundamentals are all over the place. You need to focus more on your core. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hi, -ya! Ah. This is why Kurt didn't want to come back. Hey, can we, uh... Can we just not go there quite yet, please? Please? <laughs> okay, Kurt. Where's the museum? Up there. This is all stuff I already have. Guess I may as well get a few EV charges. Not that I've needed them at all yet. I never seem to run out of EP.
Oh no. Um, hey, should we go grab Tatiana and bring her here? I'm sure she'd like to meet her favorite writer. Oh, careful. That sounded dirty. Better or worse than Blue Blong? Um, better? She doesn't make me go on wild goose chases, for one thing. Reen? It's good to see you again. Oh, great. Now she's seen Reen with two other guys, so she's gonna start writing about them. Imagines rings in suggestive ways. <laughs> Welcome. Indeed. I'm Dorothy, the curator here. I never guessed I'd be able to meet the famous branch campus students. I'd like to welcome you all to the Imperial Museum. Of course, Yusei knows all about her. Hmm. Leave it to Yusei to be into Yaoi. He's the very picture of one of those kinds of people. <laughs> Altina, don't say misleading things like that. Oh no! She actually is doing it. I was joking, but why am I why am I surprised? Come on. She's she's writing both of them into a love triangle already. <laughs> You don't want to know. Let's just leave it at that. How many books has she written Reen to be in be be a starring role in? Do I want to know? I give her shit, but she's mostly good people.
Looks like a little lantern. Alive? As an aside, thus far the church seems to be more or less on the up and up, but something inside me also can't help but shake a certain amount of trepidation giving an organization that much authority and power over all of these different countries. So far they haven't abused it. But it just seems so right for it as someone so decided. Plus, it's a J JRPG. Churches with too much power never seem to turn out that well in JRPGs. Okie dokie. I think I have all the gifts, so let me go ahead and use those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just how tough all the girls have it, mind you. Oh, here it comes! Here, here it comes! Okay, so these have to wait until Class 7 gets back together, I guess. Oh, okay. Let's head back to the training hall. Find out who that woman I is. Don't hear any shouting inside. That Kurt. They must be taking a break. Is Let's go in. Apprehensive about 
coming face to face with. Rayfun, huh? Hmm. That name sounds suspiciously Calvardian to me. What are your credentials? Papers, please. Training hall. Oh, that's an alluring sounding voice. Are you his mom? Uh, Welcome back, Kurt. Sister. It feels like it's been forever since you were last here. Oh, she certainly is beautiful. <laughs> she your sister? She's pretty fine. <clears throat> I have returned home, mother. M mother? You're shitting me. <laughs> a stepmother, perhaps? No, they look too similar. Hey, come on now, guys. Don't be so rude. You just met her. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet all of you in Class 7. Kurtz told me so much about you in his letters. Gotta, go, gotta do that pan up from the hips. I am Matthias Vander's second wife, Aurier Vander. Oh, polygamy. Juicy. I'm so glad you could stop by. Why is Osborne being such a dick to the Vanders specifically? What did they do? Maybe he just really didn't like them being the bodyguards of the Imperial family for some reason. That still it still seems strange to me. But I'm sure we'll get more info on that as the games go on. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that Osborne in the background?
Well, have fun, guys. No, no. They're in class during the night, duh. What kind of school do you go to, Yuna? Come on now. I... Oh my god. I can only imagine what's gonna happen when I go investigate the San Astria school. We know how much of a chick magnet Reen is, especially since becoming world-renowned as the Ashen Chevalier, and he's walking into a den of high school girls who don't really see that many guys most of the time. Oh dear. And Reen was never heard from again. Have a look. Got the hotel there. There's the cathedral. There's the school. Let's go check out the embassy. Hey, did y'all know that there's like a, a bunch of spies swarming all over the capital, guys? Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Hello in there! Yes, what are you planning? Ah, don't worry. It's fine. Hi, Lector. That clerk doesn't look like he's having a fun time. I imagine they must be feeling pretty harassed at that embassy. If, of course, the embassy has nothing to do with what's going down right now.
Why is requested in quotes? Did you coerce them? I'm not really sure how Reen came to that conclusion. What, do they, what does he mean, hide the existence of Calvert? That's... that's not a thing that you can do. Considering it's one of, one of the two biggest nations on the continent. Alright, let's go get swarmed by horny high school girls. Phrasing. <laughs> this seems like an interesting conversation. Yeah, did you forget that he's with you right now? Care to repeat that last comment? <laughs> I didn't quite catch it. And Ash was never heard from again. Chill out, it was just a joke! Come on, man, you're cutting off the circulation! This isn't the first time I've noticed it, but... It's like his personality completely changes when it comes to Elise. It doesn't even surprise me anymore. <laughs> I think the contrast between that and his normal self is just adorable. Rain! And everyone else, too! Well, what a coincidence! Hello, Elise! <gasps> Elise! Well, speak of the devil. You were coming to Heimdall for your field exercises, but I didn't expect I'd get to see you on the first day. Things might get a little uh, busy on the later days, so better to do it on the first day. Don't worry, it's just a, it's just a multiple shoulder fracture. It's, he can walk it off. Let it begin. Uh, is that? And Reen was never heard from again. Uh, that guy President Elise is talking to. Oh, it is. Uh, it's the Ashen Chevalier. <laughs> so predictable. That's right. I heard he became an instructor for Thor's branch campus. Are those his students? Look at the boys. That handsome blue-haired one. 
And that blonde one has some real bad boy charm. The girl with the pink hair seems super cool. The silver-haired one is just like an adorable little doll. Wait, and is that? Shh. No. Hey, please don't. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry for dropping in like this. I'll contact you again later. Yes, that would probably be for the best. All right, ladies, break time is over. Uh, no, no fair, fair President Elise. Well, she's having a rough time. All the places I need to. So I stop the investigation by. Oh! Bird! 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 Zareen think he notices. Was there something peculiar about that bird? It just looked like a bird to me. Generic, pious, old guy. Okay, but to be fair, some of our neighbors could and could be and are Calvardian spies. Just saying.
Why do you have a bad feeling about this? Okay, that's a good reason, to be fair. That weird-ass professor, a perfectly valid reason to feel uneasy about the Septian Church. I mean, he's not... it's not Kevin or Wazzy. He's a weirdo. Oh, hi, Vita. The new Class 7. It seems like they've begun. I suppose I can leave them, Emma, and Grandmother to someone else. But what are you up to? Sweet, we got them all. Just checking up on stuff. Alright, looks like I've done the optional stuff that the guide's talking about right now. It's mostly getting gifts and accessories and stuff. Okie doke. Let me see if anybody wants the accessory I made. She'll evade slightly less, but deal more damage when doing so. That's pretty good. Don't I have one that gives me a hundred strength, though? I guess I haven't made it yet. Okay. Water fountain and sink districts. Then there's a train station here somewhere as well. No. Oh. Not train station, silly guy. Tram station. Not the right bird.
You're not a pigeon, silly parakeet. Sleep at a hotel. You know, as birds do. That's not just normal bird talk. Is there something more to that bird than meets the eye? Or am I just overthinking it? I don't know about that last part. I am not well... I'm not well renowned for my thinking, so overthinking it... Mm, seems sus. Alright, Saga. See you around, dude. Sleep well. That's that out the way. Here with modern technology, probably something unthinkable. Great. have in that slot. Crap, I don't really remember. remember.
Was it the Onslaught emblem? Somehow I don't think it was. I don't know. And now the game unequipped it from him. Shit. Oh. What just happened? Second form? Damn! It's my turn! Yeah! Our chance! It's mine! <laughs> Not too shabby. You Tell all it really does is activate the higher elements. Second form, Gale! Here I go. Ah! Wide open, Ash, go. Got it. Ah! Sure. Sure. Yeah. Now. Let's go. Crimson Slash. Whew. Everyone okay? Do be careful. That. E Ooh, four of them. Holy crap. This one's strong! Be careful! <sighs> Spirit Unification! Let's go! My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! <sighs> Done already? Her goes really close to leveling up. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> nice! Stats updated. I must train even more. <laughs> I grew a little.
Okie doke, that's that out the way. Doesn't look like there's any hidden quests. Now we gotta take care of the monster. As well as loot the western side to find all. Too far away. Rip. Now. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Yeah. Our chance. It's mine. I got this. Huh. I'm up. Huh. It's down. I'll assist. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. I worked extra hard. Diamond Nova, 60% chance. That description's still odd. I'm guessing, I'd, I assume it means to say recover EP by casting hearts, because either that or the other part is supposed to say HP. I don't know. It's gonna be another picture of a girl. Laura's gonna have some questions for him if she ever gets a hold of his Arcus. Although just saying it's because of Vivi would go a long way toward explaining it. Our chance! I don't know how familiar Laura is with Vivi though. Second form? Damn! Now! I'll assist. Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! Our chance! Ash, go! Leave it to me! Go! I got this. Now. Yeah. Now. An opening! I'm up! Huh. Let's go! Huh. Everyone okay? Ooh, a treasure chest! Holy symbol. What that do? It's not bad. It's not great.
What the hell did I even have him wearing? I don't remember. That enemy is strong. Please be watch out. out. This is a tough one. There's a villa over here. Oh, I wanted to loot it. Fine. There, there. Now, we'll bring be it good on, boys and girls, for now. Second form, down. Now, I'll assist. It's my turn. You can't escape. Sure. Oh, come on. Really? Boo. Ja! Now. There. There. An opening! <laughs> Thanks for helping out. I worked extra hard. Snack. Tough one. Yeah. A powerful enemy. Ooh, Exercise caution. Ones. Spirit unification. I'm up. Arcane. Gale. It's down. I'll assist. You can't escape! Fire! Sure. Hey, you! Rest in peace! Now. Arcus, activate. I'm up! I wonder if this is going to be enough to break. It's well, down. not quite, but... I'll assist. Oh, come on. It's my turn! No. Yeah! 
battle complete. Let's continue. Yo, let's go. Cool beans. Treasure located. Ooh, nice. That's three less uh, silver cal seventh calibers I need to make. This will be yeah. a good fishing spot. Yeah. Yeah, it would be if I don't punch all the fish first. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. Ooh, that's a new one. That's a gigantic arowana. It's a big one. Appropriately named. Also, a crap ton of you materials. Yes, please. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. It's a big one. Snakehead. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. Don't know if I recognize that one. The expected result. Well, it is one I found before. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. The expected result. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. The expected result. That thing is as tall as Altina. Bite received. It's strong. I got one. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. This fishing hole gets a lot of different fish, really. I got one. Most of them I've seen. The Mega Arowana is the only new one so far. Casting. And after that, I think there's I only received. one new type of fish to find. Heavy tension on the line. The last one I find is going to be, you know, the big one that there's probably a side quest for. The Which is why I say there's only one left, probably. Casting. Bite received. It's going to be some it's sort strong. of guardian. What do you want to say? What do you want to? What do you? What do you think? The expected result. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. It's a big one. Queen Azulfish. Okie doke. I doubt I'll be finding anything else new from that one. I gave it ten tries. There's a little path to the side. Eh. I believe that wanted complete. monster is just beyond there. We're ready to take it on, right? Let's go. A tough one. Just 
Pew pew. A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Get back! Now! I'll assist. My turn. You're mine! It's my turn! Yeah! Wide open! It's mine! My turn. Yeah! Zero arts! Nice. Battle complete. Let's continue. Looks like all of the treasure in the area, so let's go ahead and poke this monster. Ah! What? 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 What's wrong? Who that? He's probably an idiot. Can we just let the dragon eat him? Also, you're not fooling anybody, all right? You're not threatened by this dragon. If I'm going to be eaten, I'd rather it not be in a place like this! Yeah, okay, Mr. Girl Sweater. Huh. Are you here to save me? It's like the goddess herself has come to pluck me out of Gehenna. Please, do away with this vile creature! Fine, but only because it's my job. Watch out! This is a tough one! Okay. Careless. It's my turn. And strong against wind. Neutral earth. Fine, I just won't use an art. How about that? Let's go. Raging fire formation. Maybe I'm I can up. delay it? Spirit unification! I'm up! Rip. Gale's the one that delays. That work anyway? Nope. Let's go. Yeah. Now. I'll assist. Here I go. Okay. 
Eh. Nah, let's just work on breaking it again. Speaking of which. It's mine! Nope. Wide open! It's mine! Easy peasy. <laughs> not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. Yeah, I did Solar it! Solar gyre. Cool. <laughs> nice. I must train even more. <laughs> I grew a little. Not too shabby. <laughs> All our training in the keep is paying dividends. <gasps> you saved me. What are you doing here? We're just glad you're okay. You're not injured, are you? Oh, <laughs> no, not at all. Thanks to your prompt response to my high-pitched wails for assistance. So, what are you doing here, Instructor Thomas? <laughs> Reen, Reen has is he, he has that same vibe I do right now. Why are you here? Uh, oh, is that Reen I spy? One of my eager young pupils. It has been an age, hasn't it? I heard through the grapevine that you started work at Thor's branch campus. Huh? Did you say instructor? So does that mean instructor Reen knows him from Thor's stuff? <laughs> Precisely. Instructor Thomas Lysander. It is a pleasure to meet you, young members of the new Class 7. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a bathroom break. I'm gonna be back in a few minutes. Sorry for the abrupt interruption, but can you do? We are back.
Alright, sorry about that. Let's move on, eh? Without further ado. I am the former history instructor of Thor's main campus, Thomas Lysander. Currently, I'm stretching my wings a little and doing some work as a freelance historian. Uh-huh. That's what you're doing, I'm sure. The Grossritter is a history teacher, so is there a connection between that and Reen becoming a history teacher? Okay, yeah, that'll make sense. Straight to the point. That's why I like you, Reen. Bullshit. Second among the Dominion, in fact. I stand at the right hand of our leader, and am known by some as the Partitioner. But you already know my real name, of course. I've never hidden that from you. I am and shall always be Thomas Lysander. When he's being serious, he's definitely the most intimidating looking of the three girls that I currently know of. Which is weird considering his hair, his garb, and his goofy glasses. It's the eyes. The eyes look practically evil. Like that's all there is to do here for now, so let's head back. Why are you pointing that out? Why are you so interested in this villa? There has to be a reason. I'm sure that villa is going to come into play soon. Ah, uh, Reen. Is now a good time? Since the call went through, I'm guessing you're still in the city somewhere, right? Hmm, almost. aunt and uncle are going to get the wrong idea, and it's going to be a fun time.
Oh, so more than Reen were invited. It kind of just sounded like she invited Reen. It's got to be Rosine. We got Black Records 4 and 5. I think that rounds out the set. Oh, no. I don't have Black Records 1 yet. Yeah, I just looked at the important objects on the next page and it says Black Records 1 and Heimdall Underground, so. I've been holding off on reading those until I have all of them so I can just read through them at, all at once. But I'm sure it has a lot of important lore information. Just like the, uh, the information fragments regarding the Oriole from the Sky Games. That's kind of what I expect it to include information about, just some heavy stuff like that. Sorry for showing up in a big crowd like this. Oh, nonsense! We've been dying to meet you! We always knew she went to the same school as the Ashen Chevalier. But when we found out you two were co-workers now, we knew we had to invite you over. Hey, Auntie! That kid looks doped up out of his mind. <sighs> Don't get cocky, Reen Schwarzer. Uh, okay. You may be famous. But don't think for a second I'll let some dumb celeb like you get with Toa. Hey, Kai, you're being very rude right now. <laughs> well, looks like uh, Reen's not the only one that's protective of his sibling. <laughs> Toa's little brother's like that, too. He's the only one actually eating. Actually, that's a good question. Of all schools, why did she decide to go to Thor's? Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be important or if it's just kind of a, a throwaway curiosity.
<laughs> uh, they're trying to uh, tempt him into courting Doa. I didn't realize she was listening in. I thought they were having that discussion candidly since she was talking to other people, but she sure heard that last part. Oh my. Yeah, I'm sure that's not gonna cause people to talk. Who are those other two kids? Were they there before? If they were, they didn't they certainly didn't get a line or anything. You know what it means when a girl invites you to her room, right, Reen? And before Reen's like uh, I've been in all sorts of girls' rooms. I just... I literally just barged in as I pleased back in the dormitories. <laughs> Don't look too closely. It's not very girly, is it? There is absolutely nothing wrong with this room. I don't know what you're embarrassed for. Embarrassed for. You haven't seen my room. I was thinking about eventually giving this room to Kai. But they all said it was too early to move all my things out. Oh, no. Most of them were my parents. They studied politics and economics, so a big chunk of the books are on those two topics. The room next door was my grandpa's office. There are a ton of books in there, and not just about astronomy. Come to think of it, I've spent most of my life surrounded by books. Ah, here we go. That's a good reason, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Erebonia loves its military affairs. Yes? Oh, He's so adorable! Give her every head pat in the world, please. I... I'm surprised she framed that one over there. 
I'm sure we're gonna get some sort of comedic line about it in a second here. <laughs> Don't look at that one! <laughs> Too late. Yes? What's wrong? It's a book. Oh, that's so nice. What a lovely present. You hear that, everyone? We're going to be starting our afternoon mission soon, so get yourselves in gear. <laughs> they keep forgetting that Ring can sense people's presences. Uh. Ah, oh, crap. I knew I should have switched to stop mode. Damn, what's with this present sensing crap of his? <laughs> Maybe he's just good at sniffing people out? Yeah, you stink. <laughs> if that's the case, maybe he'd be vulnerable to a little pheromone enhanced perfume. Okay, she's dangerous. Our apologies. We were coming to get you and heard your voice. Yeah, we figured we shouldn't interrupt. Oh, yeah? Well, I figured you two were getting hot and heavy in there. Of course you did. Hot and... He Ash! <laughs> Cut it out, you! <laughs> in any event, you plan to meet the others from the old Class 7 tonight, correct? Well, we're stuck writing all our reports for the day. Yep, that sounds about right. Oh, well, no. Nothing's set in stone just yet. You know? You'll back me up here, right, Kurt? Sorry, that's simply not possible. Why not? You do have to write your reports, you know. But taking a second to go back to what Toa was talking about, why she joined the military academy. Like, she joined because she felt that she had to get close to, like, the violence and bloodshed of military matters to get close to the truth of, I guess, just kind of the way things are flowing in the continent or whatever. Part of me wonders if her parents had a similar outlook and maybe that maybe that airship crash wasn't so much of an accident maybe they looked into things a little too much and a certain powerful someone may have had them taken care of if you know what i mean just a feeling just a thought that i had during that conversation no idea how 
true it is, but it, I also think there might be something to it, but I guess we'll find out as time goes on. Dangerous area beneath the race course. Okie dokie. <clears throat> First time I've ever heard of a race course in Heimdall. I can challenge Fred to Hearthstone. I'm pretty good too, you know. I've only lost once. Go easy on me. Witch. Okay. Three mana to deal four damage to the target. Okie doke. Mm, these are ranged, so I do have to be careful. Pretty cool. Because I think if I uh, leave them both alive, then they'll be able to combine their abilities to kill my blicks, and I don't want that.
Well, now I do. I think I'll just use this one to further guard the one in the back. Oof. I hear my dog. And she's gone. She'd be like that. That's all you're doing? Really? You're not gonna kill the Blix that absolutely has lethal damage on your, uh... On your master there? Okay. You got me. All right. Dracul's Plaza. Let's go. This big place. I find myself suspicious of what she just said, but, oh yeah, I'll definitely take note of something that catches my eye. As long as it's not related to Reen, you say. Okay? Dracos the Lionheart, Erebonia's father of the Renaissance. This statue was built after his passing so that he could watch over Heimdall. It has such a regal feel to it. I mean, he, he was an emperor, so yeah. Oh, hi, Vivi. Why is it on top of the water, huh? Interesting question. Oh, you two are fishing together!
Come on. You get you guys are getting together eventually, right? You definitely hinted at it in the last game. Or at least it hinted at Annabelle liking Kenneth. Kenneth's completely obliv oblivious to everything that's not fish. Guys, is Cedric in the palace? I guess. Nice leggings. I mean, what? <laughs> I am Ada of the main campus's class one. I'm Fritz, also from class one. A pleasure, Instructor Schwarzer. <laughs> wasting your time helping the community. Oh, that boy better get an ass kicking. That is not how that is not how we roll in Trails games. Also, I can't help but notice that they asked us for our information, but they're not telling us jack shit about their information. How nice. Possibly. And I'm sure you're not going to do anything to pour fuel on the fire, right, Princey? At least my heart's here. You have a chauffeur. Why am I not surprised?
Okie doke. There's a book to get over here. little girl. Appreciate you. Okay. Let me see here. Lake District has a report for Monk. Why do you have to be so creepy with everything you do? You could just not do that, you know. And people would find you much, much more approachable. On, like this has ever stopped Ash. Immediately, no, stop. Please follow the law, absolutely. Gloves for your boy. as well as the final mystery, I do believe. Okay. Then we go to Vanquier Street.
distortion, huh? I wonder if that's actually pertinent to what's going on. Could be interference from, like, spy communications. I don't know, just spitballing. Okay, so that one's normal. I did I didn't mean to go inside. Sorry. Shop is down this way. So this the newspaper building? Apparently. We could do that. We could.
suspicious. I wonder what's causing all these. thing I can think of is spy communications. Yep, it's a bug. Was Odin Jim again? Oh, nice. Okay. I wonder how necessary the break damage is. Considering Minotauros. And he also has the Rakan gem. That could be better for him. Sweet. That was a. a good prize. I'm, I'm happy with that. Doesn't look like there's any doesn't look like there's any hidden quests or anything. Just making sure, since as she says, I'm not going to be able to go. I'm not. This is basically going to be the last thing I do today, and I think that's all that there is to do. So we should be good. there but
There's one way we can place bets. Time for everybody to rubberneck straight to Terrine. Even Altina's into the idea. Suddenly, gambling. Okay. Not the best criteria to go on, but hey, you're making your little girl happy. Who am I to criticize? Girl. Yes, she is. Good job. Alright, but believe it or not, there is actually a correct answer to this. It's not random! It actually is Lino Bloom. The main race of the day will be starting shortly. Please place your bet soon, or you'll risk missing out. <sighs> hmm, I wonder who's gonna win. Horses are all in position now. The favorite for the main race today is Lumber Blitz, and the second most popular is Black Prince. 
only three days away from the summer races now. Will the favorites continue to dominate, or will today's race see a huge upset? And they're off! <laughs> well, Lino and Bloom have kind of a late start there. Forward to the front of the pack with Landstar right on his tail. Black Prince and Kaiser Dice are keeping pace just behind them. And bringing up the rear is Lino Bloom. How will this race turn out? Good now question. The lap and Lumber Blitz has managed to keep a hold on his lead. But Black Prince is gaining on him. Landstar and Kaiser Dice are trying to muscle their way into the lead, too. Could have seen this coming. It's surely a shocker. You heard the man. No one could have seen that. No way. Fancy meeting you guys here. Go away. Stop. Stop dropping wow. in on us. Sitting and watching a horse race, huh? Those missions of yours must be a real breeze. Shut up. Major Arundel. Hmm? Hmm? The Intelligence Division has been analyzing the actions of these individuals, yes? What is their objective? Sabotage or espionage? <laughs> uh oh. Well, at first I'd have said it was 50 50, but now, maybe 30 70? Huh? Oh, wait, which is which? The order Musei set them in was. Don't forget. This is some top secret stuff here, so I'll thank you to not try and pry any more out of me. The way things are set up, we'll forward the juicy bits of info along to you guys as soon as we know for sure. Mm, yeah, but espionage for what? What kind of information are they hoping to gain? Anywho, ta ta for now. Good luck with your missions. Yeah, see ya. For some reason, betting correctly gets you more credit with the school? What?
<laughs> They're not having a good time. Is it not in here? Up here, perhaps? I mean, nobility seating isn't exactly VIP, is it? Oh, looks like it is. Oh, Altina. Mysterious roaring? Monkey ass? Holy shit. It's almost like it's the perfect place for a bunch of spies to hide. back down this way. And here it is. Oh. Yes. Racer Guild branch, huh? I can't help but feel like there's something symbolic in the meeting there. Yes? Why are they so upset about this? Weirdos. You never knew. 
the hell do you mean you never knew that there was a place like this? You just got through saying that it's widely known in the capital that there's a bunch of Dark Age ruins under the city. What? <laughs> They're just jealous. Yes, they are. Hey, Fontaine, how's it going, dude? Now, let's go! Well, it was Kurt that said it. That's the thing. It's okay. I'm about to go to sleep. I wouldn't. I probably won't be too far behind you, to be honest. What did I need to make again? Zero Cannon, Ixion Vault, all the Chronos, Lost Genesis, and Seven Folds. No, Seventh Caliber. All super rares. Can't expect Ashless in the dirt. The, the, the thing, the thing is, what I'm trying to say is, it's Kurt that said that he was he didn't know there was anything like that under the city, and a few minutes ago he Kurt said that everybody knows. That's why I'm confused here. Uh, what do I currently have? I have Zerwell, a Cannon R, one normal. Yeah, no worries. Um, two, I have two rares, so I only need two more to make another rare, then I can make the super rare for this. Which I don't quite have enough to do, I can make one more. So close. Uh, Lost Genesis. I have one normal, one rare, so I still need five more normals. That's... that's gonna be a bit. <laughs> I already have Chrono Break SR. One Chrono Drive Rare, one Chrono Burst Normal. And I also have someone equipped with a Chrono, Chrono Burst Rare. Okay, I can't do anything with that at the moment. If I make one more, I can make another one of these. So in total, I need four more. I almost have enough to make two. Rip. What about Ixian Volt? Two rares. Ooh! I have enough to get the super rare, and then that should let me make the the evade plus 20% uh, quartz. Yes! Of course, I can't access that right now, but still, I can make it. Yes. Unfortunately, I... Oh, wait. Can I leave? Dude, that's kind of busted if I can leave. Let's go! We can actually get it. Although, this isn't the place I go to get it. Yes, I don't think. I think I need to go to... The Herschel store. It's an it's an exchange shop thing. How's Yakuza been treating you, Fontano? My timing has been terrible lately. I haven't been able to tune in. Sorry about that. He 
Yes. Give me. Okay. I already got Odin Gem. I don't really need another one of those. the dodgy court, so I can go ahead and remove that from my list. Yeah, I think I'm getting tired too, because I read that as Y2K and I was confused for a bit. Haven't been able to stream Yakuza 2? Or Kiwami 2, I guess? Performance issues, uh, that sucks. Here you go, Yuna. Nice fetch evade for you. One hundred and one percent evade. Let's go. I don't think I can, uh, uh, I don't think I can get the, the, the ultimate Mishy thing. That's Jingo only. Rip. Oh well. We got a perfect... What's the word I'm thinking of? I, why can't I say sentences before pausing? It's like I start saying a sentence and then I realize I didn't think out the second half of the sentence and I had to take like five seconds. But I got my perfect dodge tank. Although I'm not exactly sure how being over a hundred evasion works. Like do some enemies have a certain accuracy that subtracts from your evasion? So they can still hit you if they get lucky? I didn't think we would be going beneath. I'm actually not sure about that. Rumor has it the area is one big series of cat. Our chance to attack. Second form, down. All right, nice work. Oops. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, good night, Fontaino. Sleep well, my dude. Let's wipe him out! Second form, damn! Now! I'll assist. Excellent work, everyone. We did it. Oh, nice. Scold match maxed out. Two hundred break damage at high HP, which he almost always is. So sweet. Stats updated. Ooh. 
Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, a black record. How many does that make? Oh, do I have to use it for it to show up? Do I report it to Rosine then? Do I have to leave to report it to Rosine then? This is the end. Come on, what did that wall do to you? Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Very well. Leave it to me. Sweet. It's gonna get deciphered over the next day or so. So what do the books look like again? Well, as for right now, I have two through six. So this one... Assuming there's nothing that comes after six, which there may be. I don't actually know. But if not, then I'll have all the black records. Eh. Charge complete. The hell is that thing? Doki? Gross. Huh? Let's wipe him out. Second form? Gale! All right. Yeah. My turn. Now. Yeah. More hostiles. I'm up! Second form, Gale! Now! I'll assist. Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! Wide open! It's mine! I got this. Probably isn't much point in doing this. I just saw zero orbs and thought I should probably cast. I shall go. Yeah. More enemies. I'm up. Spooky enemies. Blurred shadow. Yeah, I guess that's pretty accurate. Very weak to mirage. Roar! Uh, Helix Strike! All right! Ah! Our chance! It's mine! Stay down! My turn. Now. Charging. Sure. I'm up! Sit! It's down! I'll assist. This is it! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. 
I worked extra hard. All right, got it. Yeah. Huh? Our chance to attack. Second form, damn! It's down! I'll assist. Sure. Not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. I should probably put Scorpio back on him, actually. I guess you can main Moby, yes? I don't know, I'm just given random Master Court's experience at this point. Yeah. Charge complete. There. There. Let's wipe him out. Form. Yeah! Now! I'll assist. Sure. Huh. Yeah! It's mine! This is it! All right! There! Now. Charging. It's my turn. Get back now. I'll assist. <laughs> Thanks for. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ooh, that one's gonna be nice. I'll be in Wolf Rare. It'll save me a uh, save me a few sepith for trying to make another one. Yeah. Charge complete. Yeah. Ooh. Huh? Our chance to attack. Double spooky. It's my turn. Arcane. Damn. Holy shit! More enemies. Let's go. Arcane Gale's a little crazy. Arcane. Damn. Sure. Not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. Yeah. Charge complete. Alright, time doll underground too. Seems significantly larger than underground one.
there's more? Oh, way more. Huh? Huh? What? We'll end this quick! Second form? Down! Now! Let's go, everyone! Yes! Understood! Yeah. Yeah. There! Yeah. Excellent work, everyone! We did it! There! Charge complete! Okay, we got a switch. Simple enough. Chance to attack. Second form, down. All right. You can't escape. Fire! Our chance. It's mine. Stay down. My turn. Oh come on. Okay. Hey you. Just barely. Rest in peace. <laughs> Done already? Hmm, I wonder what that looks like. She turns into Angelica. Probably. Good god, there's so many characters. And yet I'm stuck with my class. Not the shade of violet I was expecting. It's very pale. But okay. Eh. This is the end. Our chance to attack. Second form, down! All right, nice work. Uh. These dungeons throw so many destructible objects at you that there's Almost no reason not to s just use your strong Tough effect on everything on the field. Be worth my time. You fill it up so fast. Also, Kyogre? Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! No one told me I'd be nah. fighting legendaries down here. I'll assist. I got this. go. Yeah. There. An opening! It's my turn. Sit! Now! I'll assist. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> Not. I must train even more. <laughs> I grew a little. What's this? Oh, really? For some reason, they don't have that written on the map. Cool.
chance! Second form, down! It's down! Let's go, Altina! Understood. Sit! Form. Sure. Yeah. Here I go! Yeah. Our chance! It's mine! <laughs> Not too shabby. Stats updated. Ooh, a treasure chest! So got Passionate Rouge. That's a 100 strength accessory, if I recall. Where is it? Delicious. Yes, please. I would gladly trade seven strength for that, seven speed for that. Eh. Charge complete. A tough one. This is the end. Watch out! This is a tough one. <sighs> Spirit unification. Let's go. Hits twice. I mean, the, honestly, the fact that it hits twice makes it sound like it's way stronger than anything else he has in his kit. Here I go. Because they both seem to do that level of damage that's written on the skill. Ash, go. Yeah, jump. I got this. Yeah. GG. Got no time to waste. Any new fish? Hey, look! There's some fish there! Casting. Bite received. It's strong. I think that's a new fish. Is it a shark? Looks like a shark. It's a big one. A phantom shark. Spooky. Casting. Bite received. Rip. Mission failed. I don't Casting. think there's going to be any new ones. Bite received. But maybe. It's strong. The expected result. I just assumed that the last Bite fish Heavy necessarily has line. to be one that's that's associated it's with like the final one. side quest or whatever. Ooh, time sabbath. Gimme. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. I got one. Casting. Fight received. Heavy tension on the line. Crab. The expected result. Casting. Bite received. Heavy tension on the line. The expected result. Casting. Bite received. It's strong. The expected result. Casting. Bite received. It 
that strong. Hope I get another phantom shark. Those give me lots of sepith, and I enjoy it's a big it very one. much. Casting. Fight received. I think that was it, but you know, I was bad. Casting. Fight received. There we go. It's strong. The expected result. Kubians. Eh. Charge complete. This is the end. A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Roar! <laughs> Helix strike! It's down! I'll assist. Sure. Yeah! yeah! It's mine! All right! Yeah! Our chance! It's mine! Let's go! Yeah! It's down! I'll assist. Now. Eh. Now. An opening! Here I go! Yeah! Our chance! I guess it's immune to death. It's mine! <laughs> not too shabby. You too. Guess you're not all talk. A treasure chest. Astral Bell. I think that's the Mirage version. Yeah. Well, if what each of those says is true, then Epic Bell is going to be better, just simply because Calvary Edge is better. And he's told me that on a couple of occasions, and I don't really have a reason to doubt him. Yeah. Charge complete. There. This is the end. Our chance. Second form. Gale. Now! Let's go, Altina! Yes. Yeah. There. Here I go! There! Wide open! It's mine! My turn. My turn. My turn. Huh. It's my turn! Crimson Slash! It's my turn! My turn. Eh. It's my turn. Crimson Slash! Now! There we go. I'll assist. I keep coming! Let's go! <sighs> Probably not necessary. It's definitely expensive. Let's go! It's my turn. So you made a lot of that back up. I ain't even mad. I got this. My turn. I'm up. My turn. Yeah. Got no time to waste. Looks like a good spot for a break. Uh, 
Alright, how's our Sepith looking? Not bad. materials. Alright, I still need two more of those. And three more Lost Genesis. And a bunch of U materials. Or else I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, great. Here we got some red pleroma grass. Great. Come encrypted question mark. Yep, seems like it. I guess specifically a magic knight, which isn't technically encrypted. enemy. Exercise caution. Let's go! Spooky. Stop that. Crimson Slash! I got this. Probably not necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, spirit unification! It's my turn! Sit! It's down! Let's go, Altina! Yes! Sit! There! Let's go! Go guys, squeeze into that that broken state. Huh. 
Come on! 4S. I don't know if I want to burn all my CP on it. It's definitely gonna die very soon, so it's now! let's not go ham. I'll assist. This is it! Especially when all I needed was a normal attack. Thanks for helping out. I worked extra hard. Impenetrable shield. Okay. I didn't see how much sepid I got from that. A decent amount, but not enough to do a whole lot with. Was I trying to make Albion Wolf? No, doesn't look like it. There! Charge complete! The Advisory Council and the Food Agency. Just like the Imperial Chronicles said. Yeah. This is some strong proof of what they're planning. We need to determine their D-Day. Mm -hmm. Stop right there! They are spies. It's not too surprising that they know stuff they shouldn't. They sure seem sure of themselves. This one's strong. Be careful. I like that guy's sword. Looks cool. Break through! Sledgehammer! <sighs> Spirit unification! Let's go! Oh, that's lucky as hell. 
Let's go, indeed. All right. You can't escape. Fire! <laughs> Wide open. It's mine. Sure. Go wild. Crazy hunt. My turn. Hey, you! Rest in peace! Uh, yeah! It's mine! <laughs> uh, uh, I failed. Let's go! I'm a fool. My turn. Charging. It's my turn! Roar! Uh, healing strike! It's down! I'll assist. It's my turn! Yeah, I don't think so, Time buddy. Barrier. How about you just Freeze. die instead? This should kill him pretty easily, actually. Yeah! I'm a fool. Yes, you suppressed. are. Continue mission. Ooh, yes. Double damage from spells. It's about right. All right, got it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> nice. I must train even more. <laughs> I grew a little. They haven't been using con con uh, combat links. Well, I mean, I say that, but I actually don't know that for sure because they, they didn't get any turns. Ramda. Okie doke. That's new. Our Arcasus can't do that. You seem to be at wit's end. Hi? What are you doing here? I see you're showing yourself to everybody else now. Oh, that 
would be because I revealed myself to no one besides him. Reen Schwarzer, you have arrived in Heimdall at long last. Yet you seem to find yourself in yet another pinch. Your luck truly is atrocious. That's pretty much how these games go, yeah. Oh dear me. Such a cold rejection is like an arrow to my heart. I come all this way to help you, and this is how you greet me? Well, no matter. I am both kind and generous. As a sign of our friendship, I will show you the way. I think I totally called it. Also, uh, bye and thanks. Thing is saying, hey, go save. So I'm a go save. You would have thought we would have heard all that. This should be the right way. I can sense them. Follow me. I mean, it's literally the only way, so I hope so. Otherwise, uh, we're in trouble. Is hey, come back here. Come on, no one's this fast. We need to find some way to catch up. Instructor, this direction is... I know. We've gone too far south. This is clearly out of city bounds. Hey, come back here. Hey-ya! <laughs> my, my hand slipped at the end there. Does that lead outside? I was afraid that I screwed myself. It does. We can't afford to let them go. Looks like an ambush. Prepare.
Wow, we are way south of the city. And the graveyard. Spooky. Hey, just so you know, you can't claim, you can't claim, uh... We secured all three of their new battle ornaments. You can't claim these three. Those were our prey. Nice job. I'll hold on to those for you. We refuse to divulge our affiliation or names. International law mandates proper treatment of us as prisoners of war. Huh. You're pretty bossy for someone who's surrendered. Well, I'm certain the intelligence division will give you your proper treatment. So long as you do not resist or attempt to flee, we will guarantee your lives. <laughs> Took you long enough. You do realize you could only catch them because we were chasing them, right? Hey guys, what's up? Are any of you injured? <sighs> we're fine. I see all your preparations paid off, Major. You had this planned from all the way back when we met at the race course, didn't you? We were dancing at the end of his strings the whole time. Yeah, that's Lecter for you. What? He planned this whole thing? Is that even possible? If anyone would be capable of such a feat, it would be the Scarecrow. Hey now, I'm only human. This is all just a happy coincidence. Bullshit, Lecter, and you know it. We were finally able to catch the spies we've all been after. You should think of this as teamwork. How? <laughs> I can see how it would feel like we've stolen your prey out from under you. It's true that this place is southwest of Heimdall, so it does fall under your jurisdiction. Would you prefer if we handed them over to you? <laughs> you know our pride won't allow that. It was Class 7 that flushed them out of hiding and wore them out. It doesn't matter who turns them in. Each of our groups should be thankful for the other's assistance. That's right. We should be glad they didn't manage to get away. You're all fine with this, right guys? Yes. No objections. <laughs> we'll leave it to you. No objections, huh? I think they, they sound like they might have a few couple. Actually. Who it is. I probably should know, but I don't. It's not coming to me. No. Oh, wow. 
Don't have anything. Don't have anything. Just checking. What are you doing here, kitty? Just, she just really likes graves for some reason. the Civil War took place. Either she's not dead, or they... I doubt they would have given her a grave if, she, if they did kill her. I see. So he was one of your friends from Class 7. Yeah. Crow Armbrust. He was actually a year ahead of us, like Instructor Toa. It was only for a short time, but he joined our class. We did all sorts of things together. Field studies, the school festival. He was a little brash and even more of a troublemaker. But he was caring, reliable, and one of the best friends you could ask for. Let's just brush the whole, literally the one responsible for kicking off the Civil War thing, under the rug. Even though we became enemies once the Civil War broke out. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbrust you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. Amazing voice acting, I gotta say. As I was affiliated with the Noble Alliance, I knew a little about him. He really sold it to me there. He was the leader of the terrorist group known as the Imperial Liberation Front. He was also referred to as the Azure Chevalier. Oh, I heard about him. He and his Azure Knight wiped the floor with the Imperial Army. Yes, but right at the end, he finally returned to Class 7. When a calamity from two and a half centuries ago rose again and seized the Crown Prince, we all worked together. Me, Crow, the rest of Class 7, even Vita. We put everything aside and gave our all to rescue the Prince. Crow even put himself in danger to open up a way for me, but he was fatally injured as a result. What happened there pushed all of us in Class 7 to move forward. I decided to stay at Thor's with Valimar and fulfill the government's orders. You know, to push forward and not live in the past. Everyone else graduated, and each of them decided to do what they could. We all pledged to meet up again in these turbulent times and find an answer together. You've never mentioned this before. I had the impression you and the members of the old Class 7 were planning something, but... I thought only the SSS had that kind of determination. But... You're just like them, Instructor. <laughs> what a bunch of starry-eyed dreamers. Shut up, you love it. Normal people don't just go around spouting lines like that, you know. Yeah, but he's kind of an anime protagonist, so... <laughs> I think it's lovely. <laughs> well, that's what those of us in the old Class 7 decided to do. There will come a time when you guys will need to decide how you're going to move forward as a class. And I plan to give you all the support I can until that time comes. Just like how our instructors and upperclassmen supported us. <sighs> Understood. Thank you. It's encouraging to hear that. You have our thanks for your guidance. 
I still do not completely understand myself, but I feel like I've gained a lot in these past few months. I haven't given up on making you mine, Instructor. Of course not. But putting that aside for a moment, I think in a way something guided me to join all of you in Class 7. Was it Thirst? I think it might have been Thirst. Well, I guess I can keep tagging along with you for a bit. That way, it'll be all the easier to pass you up. <laughs> what a very Ash thing to say. What's up? Hmm? What's wrong, Yuna? Oh, is she gonna notice a sign of what happened that night? There's something shiny in the dirt here. It's a bullet casing, isn't it? Someone dropped their jewelry? Should we turn it into the gravekeeper? It looks like quite a lovely brooch. I'm sure its owner... Oh. Is something wrong, Muse? Huh? I feel like I've seen it before. That's... That crazy biker chick had something like that on, didn't she? Can I see it a moment? No. There's no doubt. This is Angelica's. The plot thickens. So she came here sometime after we saw her last month? Could it have been sitting here since then? Hey, it's been bugging me for a bit, but... Does the dirt here look off to anyone else? You're right. It looks different around this grave. As if it's recently been dug up. <sighs> Do it, Reen. Dig it up yourself. Find out the truth. Toa, are you at camp right now? I need to talk with the Major and the Principal. Don't hand it off to them. Discover it for yourself. George is going to have a much harder time trying to shoot you. Well, I mean, if the Principal herself handles it, <laughs> that ain't happening. But I'm just saying, he has protagonist plot armor. They did dig it up. Well, it looks like they didn't leave the doll there. I guess they figured an empty grave would con would uh, be less conspicuous than uh, than the doll that they made, which kind of makes sense. After all, who could make such a detailed doll but the gnomes? Are you certain Crow Armbrus was buried here? <laughs> Looking at the fucking headstone? Uh, yeah, a, a little bit, yeah. Something definitely happened. <laughs> I hope she's not dead. There's the million dollar question.
I mean, it's not like they sniffed the body. That would be kind of weird. Precisely what I was thinking. Also a certain Chancellor. I can't help but think he actually did die at the beginning of the Civil War, but was then revived using the same metho methodology. I'm sure there's no connection whatsoever. box, huh? I wonder. Because that description sounds a lot like artifacts. I wonder if these new ornaments are made by someone who may have discovered how to make artifacts. A new Epstein. Oh, uh, Aurelia. She would be unfazed by all this. I think she's actually itching for a fight.
Is it? Is that really a coincidence? That's too convenient. I don't know about that. to see you. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to have to end it for tonight. I've been going for quite a decent chunk of time, really. More than usual. I just got in the zone, you know? But this sounds like as good a stopping point as we're going to get. And tomorrow, I'm going to be coming back and we'll start with the reunion of Class 7 and see what unfolds there. But for now, I'm going to bid everyone good night. And so, as always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, my dudes.